What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Goat and Son. I'm the boy Goat. Got the weenie son. You know, he hasn't been here in a few months because uh, he doesn't care about the channel, but I do, so don't worry. Whoa, 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 whoa. I care about the channel here. I don't know what you're talking about. That explains why I've been posting videos for the past few months and you're nowhere to be found. Alright, alright. Anyway, uh, we're going to do these early season predictions for the Eagles and uh, Dolphins. Let's just uh, say Ethan's going to be playing favoritism. How? Because you think because the Eagles won the Super Bowl that they're immediately going to be uh, godly. No, I don't. I actually think that they're going to have a Super Bowl hangover. Really? All right, all right, all right. We're going to... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. First four weeks, first four weeks. What do you got? What do you got? Philly going, huh? Because uh, their opponents, huh? Um, I think that they'll beat Atlanta. I think that they'll beat Tampa Bay. I think that they'll beat Indiana or Indianapolis. I mean, and I'm gonna have them losing to the Titans. <clears throat> nice three and one start. I got a, uh, I got Miami opening up in Miami, beating Tennessee. I got them going to going to the Jets, beating the Jets. Then I have Miami losing back to back games to Oakland and New England. So you say two and two so far? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna believe in Tannehill. You know he was on a roll before he got injured, but uh, then uh, then he got injured, <laughs> and now he's back. I, I believe in Tannehill. I believe in. Uh huh. All right. Uh, weeks five through eight. Um, Five through eight. That, that. I don't know. This is against the Vikings. This is a hard one. Um, I'll say that they'll capture the dub because they're at home. Um, they they will lose to the Giants on the road. They will beat Carolina at home, and then they will um, hmm, they'll. Lose to the Jaguars in London. So that's what? Six and three? Yeah, that should be. Yeah. Alright, uh. Five, I got. Five and three. Oh, well, uh, I'm actually, uh. If this is entirely. I'm not doing. I guess it's realistic early, but this is if Miami actually gets their stuff together and they, uh. Don't fold because these are teams that are way that they can easily beat. Well, I have Miami on a, on a um, going to Cincinnati. I got them winning that game uh, at home against Chicago. I have them winning at home against Detroit. I have them winning uh, going to Houston. I have them winning an overtime game because I actually think Houston will be a really good team next year. Uh huh. That's a that's a decent six and two star. Don't worry, it, it goes downhill. Yeah, I was I was about to say. All right. Um. 9 through 12. I have a bye week, week 9. Um, they'll beat the Cowboys at home, because Cowboys are trash now. Um, they will... Oh, this is, this is a good one. At the Saints. Um, I'll have them win that game. And they'll get revenge on the Giants. So, uh, that is, um, 8-3. Week 9, I got Miami beating the Jets again. I have a sweep in the Jets. Uh, week 10, I have us losing to Green Bay. So going into the bye, it'd be 7-3 and three in week 11. Week 12, I have us beating Indianapolis. So that'd be, uh, I guess, 8-3. and three. Or, yeah, 8-3. and three. All right. Um, what is this? Uh, let's do 13 through 15. All right, all right, all right. Um, I think that will beat the Redskins. They're garbage. Um, we're gonna lose at Dallas, and I think um at um <laughs> I was about to say St. Louis, at the Los Angeles Rams um back to back years, um they're gonna lose that one. So uh what eight and three then so nine and nine and five. I got Miami beating Buffalo uh, at home. Uh, then I have us getting our revenge on New England because we, 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 we're obviously going to split like we always do. Uh, then I have us losing to Minnesota, so that would be 9-4. and four. Or not 9-4, and 10-4.
All right. Um, Texans. I don't know what this could go. But I'm gonna say that's gonna be a win. Cause low key, if um, oh my, uh, what's what what's the quarterback for the Texans that Deshaun Watson? If he's healthy, yeah. he's gonna be dangerous. They're gonna be dangerous, man. Yeah, for real, for real. And at the Redskins, uh, low key, uh. I mean, they do have Alex Smith, so I guess that's an upgrade from Kirk Cousins. Um, they'll win that one. So uh, eleven and five. I got the Miami going eleven and five. I think we'll lose to Jacksonville, then we'll beat Buffalo in a very, very close field goal game. So you think that you think that they'll go eleven and five? I think they'll go eleven and five. If they actually play to what they can do. If they play mediocre, um, gonna, it's over. I'm not really look like I'm. I have your schedule pulled up on here, but I'm not gonna really go through every game. I say, I think. What, what was your record last year? We were fucking. Um. Oh, sorry about cussing. Uh, we got no cuss rule. Uh, our record six last year. Were f- yeah, we were six and ten, man. Our team folded, man. Like we start, if, we started off with uh, who was it? Who was our quarterback? Cutler. Cut. Yeah. yeah all I'll right. Say, that I'll season, say we get a slide. I'll say the Dolphins go eight and eight or nine and seven. No, nah, we get we get a slide from last season, all right? Because that was Cutler, man. Hey, y'all might make the playoffs. And then Matt Moore came. I think uh, in the middle. I think nine and seven is most likely the most realistic. Yeah. Now, Unless Tannehill comes back like a now, prototype. I try to do my realistic, but if we decide to fold because of that Super Bowl hangover, you guys won. I, I could see the Super Bowl hangover would be New England out of this schedule. I I I still think the Eagles are going to go twelve and four, but I think either eleven and five or eight and eight, depending on if they have a hangover or not. Interesting, interesting. I don't think that we'll have a negative... Se- I don't... Really, if um, Howie Roseman, the Eagles GM, just keeps doing what he's doing, I don't think that the Eagles will have an under 500 season for at least four or five years. Unless I think, all the uh, players decide to get injured like the Giants did last year. I think we need to get our uh, stuff together in the office, man. We need to – Gase and Tannehill, they need to do some business. I think Gase is a pretty good coach. I mean, he's had one losing season and one winning season, so this will probably be his defining season. I think we can get a winning season if Tannehill could play like he did before he got injured. I'm looking through your schedule, and um, the Dolphins have a decent amount of games on Fox. We have a pretty easy schedule if you think about it. Um, yeah, you do. Like, you guys can win against some of these teams, but you guys don't have Jarvis Landry. Yeah, well, we replaced him with Danny Amendola, so. Oh, yeah, I forgot that y'all signed Danny Amendola. I actually personally like Danny Amendola. I still think that you guys could get an 8-8 season. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. I think nine and seven though is the most realistic option, but I'm gonna go with nine. If you uh, if five. you guys want to try to make the playoffs this year, nine and seven is probably fine, as like the uh, sixth spot. I think yeah, the Eagles we, will probably be a third or two seed. Yeah, we just need to get our stuff together in the office, man. Yeah, and then y'all will probably play some team like Houston or Tennessee. Yeah, most likely. Uh, I forgot that Jacksonville's I, uh, in that division. I AF- think Kansas the AFC City. South, the AFC South, besides Indianapolis, will low-key be good this year. Unless Andrew Luck somehow comes back and starts lighting up the field. Yeah, that division will be, like, nice. Um, Trying to think that who a team you guys could play in the first round could be. I think it's Kansas City. Maybe someone in the West. I think it's going to be either Kansas City or Pittsburgh. Okay. 
I honestly yeah, because Pittsburgh top, could probably be a three seed. I honestly think the top two seeds will be New England and Oakland, unless Brady doesn't come back. I hope those were that uncertainty with Brady's uh, contract. I hope he does not resign, man. I mean, the dude had fun. He's been in the league for a while, but please, man. He's just gotta try to do what um, what's his face? Brett Favre, uh, Manning. And try to win a Super Bowl for his last year. If he's gonna career. do what Brett Favre did, I'm retiring, guys. Comes back. I'm signing with the Dolphins. Hate New England. <laughs> Poor Brett Favre, man. If if the Dolphins sign Tom Brady, would he be happy? No. No. Yeah, I would. No, I would not. Why if he won you guys the Super Bowl? I would not be happy. I don't like Brady yet. I'm, but you rooted for the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Because I don't like I don't like you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, personally, I just I, don't I like the Eagles fan base. I think we got this video here, guys. Personally, I don't like the Eagles fan base. That's why I was rooting for New England, but I, I hate New England so much. Think about it. Bill's fan bases are garbage. Really, though. All right, but anyway, Yumbles, we are going to cut it here for the jaw. And I know anyone watching. I know you prefer my Marvel videos. So do I. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to have to have a chat with you. But, uh, yeah, uh, like the video, subscribe, and uh, I'm about to go sleep, car.